We're called you, E-W-E, Enlightened Women Empowered. So be all you can be. <laughs> Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Stuck Days. My name is Ava Solberger, and we are here in Burlington, Vermont, at the Main Street Landing Performing Arts Center for a rehearsal of Girls' Night Out Productions, The Family of You. This is hot off the presses. This is the world premiere of The Family of You. We are the family of you! The family of you means the family of you and me, of all of us. Let the fun begin! The Family of You is written and directed by Vermont playwright Carol Vasta Folly and performed by a cast of predominantly women. Everybody, let's get started. Ooh, Welcome yay. to you, enlightened women and oh, power. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why is it so important to make plays that are written by, directed by, and feature women of all ages? Let's go find out. Just play with it. We're going to do this later in rehearsal, but might as well start now. So we put on Steel Magnolias right here in this theater, and after the show, we realized oh my, we're on to something. Our commitment is to producing plays that have great roles for women and some men, and particularly for women who are older. The vast majority of the theater going public are women, but women represent only, I think, 10% of the writers and directors of those plays. There are still Magnolias, Crimes of the Heart. There are some really awesome women plays, very few and far between. To be able to see themselves reflected in all of the aspects of this production is a very empowering feeling for women. We should all be having sex regularly. And own a unicorn. I just wrote women. I sat down and wrote women characters and figured out who are these women and what are they about and kind of just fleshed them all out. And then I stuck them all together. We have an unbelievably talented playwright who is also our director. So we're gonna take it from there. We're gonna take it through Jen's entrance. Okay, are we ready? Oh, it's a big damn deal. The first time you hear your words out loud. Fulfilled? I have no idea what that word means. <laughs> Cheers! This is a dramedy. We would call this a combination of a drama and a comedy. You know, as we age, we have stories to tell. I was born in Marion, Ohio. You may have heard of it because it's widely known as the popcorn capital. It's laughter, it's tears, it's love, it's anger. Finding connection even when you don't think there could be. I find I write about death a lot, mostly because it has everything to do with life. My mother's off reinventing herself in this la-la land, post-feminist, communal living. Such respect for each individual character. Yeah. Any one of these characters could potentially be a stereotype, and none of them are. These are all real people. And I think that that's part of the empowerment piece. We talk a lot about overlapping each other in these up comedic moments, but there are also a lot of real moments. You don't get to decide what I decide. I decide what I decide. Of course you no, do. No, no. And they are deeper and richer roles than I think you find yeah. as an actor looking through what's available for women. But, but there are certainly men who come to our shows and men who are in our shows. We actually have a man in, in this show. I really don't have to do a, a whole heck of a lot. I'm put here, <laughs> I'm thrown around the stage, I'm told what line to say. <laughs> All right, maybe a unicorn is a particular gadget and has a does own one. Oh, thinking outside the box. Well, why not? I've got a rabbit. And I have a cat. And this is the woman giving me sex advice? I'm always going, pace, pace. You gotta keep it up because people talk like that. But particularly when groups of women get together, there's a lot of talking over each other. So it's a, it's a dance. We're doing that all the time. Yeah. Interrupting yeah. each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if she misses that or me. Oh, she, she misses is. you. And she probably really misses the sex. We've created our own little family here. We're all coming here after long days at work, and it's nice to kind of come home to our show family. This is moi. I'm kind of a late bloomer. I mean, I didn't start doing this until I was well into my 50s. As a kid, I had no friends, but I would find people to come over and be in my plays. There's a lot of permission for women to continue to reinvent themselves. And that's one of the things that I think we really love to present here as an opportunity for women to be on stage who haven't been on stage and to work backstage and to create these amazing sets and the costumes and, and to do all of the production things. I really wanted a set that was home. I didn't want just a house, I wanted home. A woman over there painting is actually an architect who designed this set. These guys really are fabulous to work with. Belinda and Paula are built the set. So first of all, woman power on every level. Being able to sit as an audience member and, and see yourself reflected in what's happening on stage is a powerful feeling. And it's really funny. <laughs> and you get to laugh. <laughs> it's hilarious. Really funny. You'll be snorting. <laughs> <laughs>
I think that by doing this, we hope that we will open the doors for more women to write. We all have stories to tell. She wrote them down. We all have them in our heads. She wrote them down. This and this can't be destroyed. You can see the family of you here at the Main Street Landing October 3rd through the 6th and 9th through the 13th. And we will get stuck with you again real soon. <laughs> Watching the show, I was kind of getting the feeling of like, oh, I'm just hanging out with my girlfriend. Is it going to freak you guys out if I'm here? We might be like, oh, oh hello. Yeah, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't look at the camera because I'm not here. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> what camera? <laughs>